it guys I decided to show you some close-up details of this build right here now this was the afterwork project I did two years ago and it only took about five to six hours to make from start to finish so it wasn't that hard even though it was kind of complicated here in the rear I will show you later but the main idea here was to to keep the original freestyle scooter shape so I didn't want to like delete the tires for the bigger ones or on the deck itself but what I did here was that I bolted this aluminium grip plate you know, custom made it and, and bolted it onto the original deck so now I have a much wider and, and better grip and the handlebar what I did here was I uh, welded a steering wheel from the bicycle onto the original pipe of the scooter. So now I have a much wider steering wheel and, and better control, of course. So that's good. Now, since this was a freestyle scooter, it is very strong. And that's what I like about it. You know, everything is just solid. There are no parts that fold down and you can break and stuff like that, so it's very, very strong scooter. Now here in the rear, I had to find a solution to fit this as huge as sprocket, and I of course couldn't fit it into the original wheel because it's so small. So I had to find a solution for that, and I found this, I found this big electric scooter wheel that has an air pressure in it found it on the scrapyard and thought it was just perfect for this solution and and mounted the sprocket onto that wheel and then and then it presses against the original wheel and I will turn it and, and show you from the other side okay I've turned it a little bit so now we have a much better vision on the more interesting side now like you can see every parts you are custom made out of stainless steel all thick welded with I believe 1.2 and 1.6 millimeter rods 316 so they are pretty strong welds like you can see gold gold everywhere and now this is the motor mount it is made to fit the to fit the bolts on the aluminium housing of the motor so and then we have here behind some, some custom made aluminium mud flap or, or dust cover or whatever you call this. And here behind we have of course the rear sprocket and this smaller round plate behind this is just an adapter or like a wheel spacer on a car, you know, to change the, the whole pattern. I had to make that to, to fit the sprocket on and here behind this small shield here we have the tiniest sprocket I don't know if you can, if you can see but it's very tiny it's only like five or six teeth so and this is a very small chain so it's very tiny and I ordered it with the motor so I did that to make sure it would fit I also I also ordered some extra clutches and and extra chain and, and sprockets and, and stuff like that because it's very hard to find you know later if something breaks especially on a project like this and yeah here you can see the the grip plate better just fold it fold it on the original deck and yeah it's, it's maybe good to mention how the system here works properly now I start with a flat tire I release all the pressure from this tire then I loosen these nuts and press it down onto the smaller wheel and then I tighten everything up so it's nice and secure and then I put pressure inside the, the upper tire and then then it really you know pushes onto onto the tire and this this tire actually holds 
very much pressure around 90 90 uh, pounds per square inch so it's a lot of pressure and it have never slipped even though when I'm driving on a, on a rainy days you know, so it holds very well and what else can I show you? Uh, yeah, we can talk about the handlebar. Now, the handlebar is very simple. Like you can see, there are no brakes <laughs> because uh, the only brake I have is just to release the throttle, and that actually works pretty well, you know, because of the light weight of this whole thing. So there's no need for for brakes. Maybe when I change the the sprocket ratio and maybe <laughs> I will need a brake but it works fine works fine how it is and here we have a very nice CNC machined uh, aluminium throttle and it works very well and here we have just some temporary you know on and off switch and some nice purple handlebars I had them I had them laying around so and I put it on some primer and this nice red coat over and I wanted to keep the original logo so I actually cut it some some tape over the logo to you know cover it from the paint so this is the original logo and yeah other than that it's just a normal normal razor freestyle scooter so I used to I used to scooter a lot when I was younger it's a pretty good scooter and now since uh, since I got older it was time to to make an upgrade <laughs> for some for some more speed and power even though I have those two big babies but this was just some fun after work project came out pretty well so all right I'm not gonna make it make it much longer I, I really hope you like this build and let me know what you think you can always ask me anything, comment, share if you want, and I will see you in the next build. All right.